Okay, this is my review of the HP 15-BW060SA laptop, which cost me £330 from Curry slash PC World. I believe this um, PC at the present moment is 350 Sometimes it has been as high as um, £400, which, to be honest, is a rip-off. I think at 330 to 350 this is the kind of laptop you would expect, the kind of spec, the, the um, specifications you would, would expect. So, so I'll just give you a quick look at the outside. So, this is probably the third or fourth HP laptop I've had under 500 pounds. I must say, this is probably the nicest looking and the kind of the build quality is quite. This is in a kind of a charcoal color or a very light black color. So, it has. On the bottom you can see there's a slight cooling vent there and it has a removable battery so when the battery does die you can replace it quite straightforward so so again it's probably the nicest sub 500 pound HP laptop that I've personally owned I mean in my experience HP laptops under 500 pound are not the nicest looking things or the best build quality but this this is actually quite nice from the outside anyway so um, in terms of what it's got, this has no optical drive, so if you have CDs or DVDs or games on CD-ROM you're, you're going to have to transfer them to a USB stick or an SD card because or you're, you're going to have to download them from the manufacturer's website, whatever but you can't insert discs into this machine, so it has um, obviously has the uh, air vent here to um, expel the heat from the processor it has an Ethernet port, it has HDMI, it has two USB 3.0s on the, on the left hand side and one USB 2.0 on the right hand side and of course an SD card so that's basically all you get so let's take a look at the laptop itself just trying to open this with one arm so like I said this is probably the nicest looking sub 500 pound HP laptop that I've owned. I mean the keys are nice. It has it has a, stand, a standard touchpad with two keys rather than just one of these giant oversized touchpads which you click on the left or right hand side. So I prefer this as you can rest you know one or two fingers on the keys while you use your left hand to um, remove, move around the um, touchpad. So again the keyboard's quite nice. It's quite, kind of you know the color is kind of like this nice kind of swirly kind of effect on the kind of like a wood effect on the actual inside of the laptop it has a uh, a standard keypad the power buttons up here in the in the left hand corner it's a little small in my opinion it's kind of kind of kind of fiddly to kind of press but it's, it's okay um, so in terms of spec let's have a look at the spec I've written it down here so it runs Windows 10 um, it has an AMD A9-9420 processor, it has 4 gigabytes of RAM, it has 1 terabyte of storage on the hard drive and it has a full HD display. This is actually the, the first time I've actually owned a laptop that has a full HD display. I think they probably phased out um, 720p HD screens now and, and now you get um, 1080p instead. In my opinion this is the screen is not bad, but it's not great. What you can probably see on the camera itself is um, it looks a bit dull and faded in, in bright sunlight. I mean, I'm sat here in the kitchen next to a window and it's kind of, um, it's not the brightest to be honest. I mean, here's the brightness keys here and go up or down. And it doesn't really make that much difference, so I mean... I think we want this laptop to, be, to use outside in, in bright sunlight. It's probably not the laptop for you, so I would avoid this laptop if you are going to use this out in the sunshine. So, uh, in terms of um, the actual quality of the screen, what I have noticed with a full HD screen is that the pictures, when I take pictures with my digital camera, the image quality is a lot sharper. As long as you view the images in a nice dark room, the kind of quality looks a lot better than the 720p. So, that's kind of a plus point. So, 
let's kind of have a look at the spec again. So it has a AMD A9 9420 processor. Now um, this processor is probably the equivalent of a Intel i3 processor. I've um, done quite a lot of research. It's kind of get it's kind of difficult to get a clear answer, but it's kind of in the same kind of level as a i3 processor. So it's a pretty good processor. It's not. It won't blow you away. It won't play the latest video games or stuff like that or kind of process videos super fast so um, in terms of the age of the processor I believe again th this is not the newest processor it's now 2018 I believe this was released in May 2016 so it's roughly two years old it's now um, um, June 2018 and this was released in um, May 2016 so it's not the newest processor on the block and it's not the quietest either so I mean you'll probably notice quite a lot that the fan does kick in and does blow it quite a moderate level of hot air it's not it's not bad but it's not brilliant I don't think it's as good as an Intel i3 or an Intel i5 so but I've had no issues with the processor it's, it's, it's good enough for basic web browsing it's good enough for video editing as long as you don't mind it taking a little bit longer than normal I've been able to run Cyberlink PowerDirector no problem but it does take a little bit longer stay than an i5 processor and obviously a lot longer than an i7 processor so um, it has 4 gigabytes of RAM I mean that's probably the absolute bare minimum you want these days I mean a lot of these kind of really cheap cheap laptops have 2 gigabytes of RAM and that's just not enough so 4 gigabytes is enough for basic um, tasks like web browsing um, video processing stuff like that but it's probably the bare minimum you would need these days so again it has one terabyte of storage which is plenty to store loads of movies um, lots of documents lots of photos and so on so so yeah so I wouldn't say this PC if, if you find this PC to play games I would say forget about it I mean it might it might just play games at the lowest setting if you're lucky but you know, with with an A9 processor and only four gigabytes of, of RAM, you're not going to be able to play the latest games at, the, at even at a moderate level. You know, at a medium level. So, so again, this isn't a games machine. This is for browsing the internet. You know, word pro processing and basic video editing and stuff like that. So, so yeah. So it's not much much more to say. What I would say is I have, I've had one problem with this um, kind of computer. So far, it's failed to update the latest Windows. Um, update I mean when I bought it there was a Windows update a couple of days later I've, I've had this roughly six weeks so after about a week there was an update and it wouldn't install it and a couple of weeks ago there was a major update and it won't install that either so it's kind of it's a little bit of annoying that it's failed two updates it was fine at first it updated basic um, Windows 10 updates but then it kind of got stuck and it won't update them hopefully this is just an isolated incident with mine perhaps I might have to do a factory reset and start over again which is kind of a pain in the ass but you know if, if that's what I have to do that's what I have to do so hopefully that is just an isolated incident with this PC and and it doesn't affect others but it's not updating to the latest Windows 10 update so just to let you know if you do have that problem it may be you know a big big problem on all these models of HP's but hopefully it's not so yeah so at £330 or £350 I would definitely definitely recommend this laptop I mean it starts up nice and fast if I just you know if I open up a web browser say so such as Chrome it loads it nice and fast so it takes you know about 10 or 15 seconds to load up Chrome which is basically normal for you know an i3 or an i5 processor so so it's getting there eventually but you know it, it normally opens up Chrome faster than that but again you know I can open up Firefox so this is what I bought it from Curry's at the present moment it's 349 I bought it for 329 I think or 330 so I mean I think at 350 is probably the top end you'd want to pay it's not worth any more than 350 pound so yeah you know, you know if you just want basic web browsing 
or even if you want to do some video editing, like I said, it runs Cyberlink Power Director no problem, but it is a little bit slower processing the video compared to my other PC, which is an i5 processor. So again, I would at 330, I would definitely recommend this laptop. So that's it. This is the, um, just try and get the model name again. It's the HP BW060SA. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this laptop as long as it's not more than 350. It's a good, decent laptop for basic everyday tasks. Thanks for, thanks for watching.